Good morning, Israel. Good morning. It's your brother, J.D. Nijah. Back with a video. Edification for the children of Israel and the believers on Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rekakwadash. Oh. That looks better. Um. Before I get started, Heavenly Father, bless this message. Let people that need to hear it, hear it. And open the ears and eyes of those who haven't learned your ways and your will. Amen. Um, so... It's becoming more and more evident. I'm going to name this one bopping on GMS again. Um, I said I probably wasn't going to go into this much uh, in, come, going forward. But um, when I hear these stupid ninjas talking their crap, their fucking corner drug dealing dumb shit. Um, ninja crap, it, it just, it inflames me because they are so, they're like, um, they're like Ku Klux Klan. <clears throat> they believe that, <clears throat> if you don't know GMS, it's Great Millstone. They're supposedly the 100% truth of the Bible and all this. And they have all these followers, all these Negroes follow them. But um, very few other <clears throat> people follow them, especially um, Gentiles, white people. You know, I'm 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 considered in this world as um, you look at me, you'd say I'm I'm a white guy, but I'm actually of uh, Benjamin of Judah, and um, you know, I it, the Lord had me follow them because he, I'm one of His. And he's like check these guys out. And I'm like checking them out, checking them out. And I started to fall for some of that shit that, um, that our, our savior, Yahweh Shai or Jesus Christ. If, if you speak English, if you're a, <clears throat> want to <clears throat> call them by your <clears throat> hideous witchcraft language name, uh, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, his name came from Joshua, Yahshua, Yahshua, Yahshua. <sighs> But um, in the Paleo Hebrew, it was originally Yahweh Shai. Um, but that being that <laughs> reality, that fact, you can call them what you want as long as it's um, uh, it's an alliteration of Yahshua, Joshua. How the hell they got? Why did? Why they didn't just call him Yeshua? I don't know why they had to come up with Jesus. Jesus Christos, but that's not the point. The point is, if you read the Bible, <clears throat> over and over again, it talks about how Mary and Joseph were, never had sex, but they had a baby. And so, you know, it, it's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came down. The angel told Mary, the Holy Spirit's going to impregnate you and you're going to have, you're going to. Uh, birth the savior and these dumb ass angry militant negroes say the same stupid shit man every so often they'll they'll pop off and and oh well, people just don't understand they're not they're not they're not as wise and and blessed as us judah oh man so i just wanted to I found another little scripture about um about it. I mean, I, I could go into the the ones that say he was born of the Holy Spirit. I mean, and I ask him all the time, why don't you look at Matthew? I could go to it real quick. It's right here on the next page. Um, it says, and in the sixth month, this is Luke. Chapter 1, verse 26, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God. The angel Gabriel was sent from God. Okay, so he sent an angel. 
He sent Gabriel down to tell Mary something. Does that mean he... <laughs> Jos that uh, corner boy Joseph is going to go d spread his seed and have the Messiah? No, you dumb Negroes. You guys are out of your whacked mind. Bopping on GMS. I'm bopping on you again. Because you know what? I'll ask him time and time again. What about Luke? First chapter. Read it. It says, And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city in Galilee named Nazareth. That's where Yahushai grew up in Nazareth. <clears throat> to a virgin. To a virgin, a spouse to a man whose name was Joseph, a spouse, betrothed. That means they're engaged. They're not married yet. Uh, verse 27, This, this all, I just get wound up. I'm going to try not to get wound up. To a virgin, a spouse to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name and the virgin's name. It says it twice, to a virgin and the virgin. She's a virgin. She's of, of marrying age and she, she hasn't had sex yet. An angel came unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at the saying and cast her mind into what manner salutation this should be. She's saying, what the heck is this angel doing coming to me telling, telling me I'm blessed? She's like, what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Salakia. By the way, this is Word of Truth with J.D. Nyjah. Coffee with J.D. Nyjah. Um, you can listen to a lot of different preachers, pastors, um, teachers, prophets. But um, <laughs> if you listen to me, you'll get the true the truth of the Bible. Um, I don't. I'm not here to. Um, I have no agenda other than to. Wake up the children of Israel, the remnant, the one-third um, elect in the 144,000 uh, elect men that are going to rule in the kingdom. This has nothing to do with um, Black History Month or any any of that shenanigans or White History Month. It's, that's why I say in my description, it's unbiased. I, I don't, I'm not exactly sure how race plays into it, but we know we have 12 tribes of the children of Israel and... I um I write on the scriptures, not on anything else. I'm not looking for any loopholes. I'm not looking for any shortcuts. I'm looking for the hard walk that's going to get me to to the kingdom, and I'm bringing it to you so you can take that same hard walk and um, come into the kingdom uh, in glory and not shamefaced. But anyway, you are highly favored and. Mary said, what manner of salutation is this? And the angel said to her, fear not, Mary, for you have been found in favor with God. Favor, the word favor goes back to the Hebrew word hen. And hen means graced or blessed. Favor is hen, H-E-N, like the bird, hen. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahushai. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb... And bring forth a son. He shall be great and he shall be called the son of the highest. Who's he the son of? It doesn't say he'll be called son of Joseph. You dumb Negroes. Fuck, dudes. Yeah. Seriously, how long are you going to keep saying that? Until you get burned up by Yahushai? Huh. I, mean, I, I can't wait to watch you guys get fucking fried. Yahushai's going to go... I ain't no son of Joseph, you dumb Negro. You colored creep. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. Who's the highest? Let's see. Verse 32. I hate doing this over and over again because it's just a, a time waster. The most high. He's the son of the most high. Does it say son of Joseph, Negroes? You ninjas? And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Why is, why is his father David? Because he's Solomon in the regeneration. You people that don't understand reincarnation and the regeneration, they don't teach that. They don't teach that in, in cemetery school. Plantation Christianity is a death cult. Huh. <sighs> 
holy cow, man. And I have no listeners and I can't believe it. I know the Bible and I'm teaching it as it, as for truth. And no one wants to hear J. Dayna. That's because you guys can't tell a prophet from your fucking foot up your ass. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob, verse 33 of Luke 1. He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. So, um, <laughs> single cigarette buying Joseph in the, is going to be the, uh, the father of, of Yehoshai? I think not. And the angel answered, here's the meat, here's the meat. Fucking Pampers and Infamil for people that can't get it. Even even these dumb Negroes that know the rest of the Bible, but they're they can't they can't give Yahushai his his just due. They have to say he came out of the tip of Joseph's dick. Fucking blasphemy. But they won't answer me because they they have no answer. I asked the the prick yesterday. I said, so what about um, Luke the first chapter and Matthew the first chapter? Is that a is that a misprint or some kind of fraud? It says Holy Spirit. It doesn't say Joseph. Did he answer back? No, because he can't. There's no there's no answer to their nonsense. And then Mary said unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? Bop. 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 You guys must have so many bumps on your head for me bopping on you. But you still have two, 2,000 listeners, 2,000 subscribers. You have 2,000 people you're leading astray, each one of your dumb little camps. You, you Negroes are going to be in big trouble. So if she, if, if she's asking Gabriel, she's asking the angel, you know, I'm kind of scared. And, um, you know, you're telling me something that doesn't make any sense. Cause I've never been fucked. I've never been boned. I've never been laid. I've never been smashed. I know not a man. That means she's, she doesn't know what it's like to be laid. You dumb niggers. And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Let me read it one more time. And the angel answered. Gabriel answered and said unto her, quote, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee in the power of the highest. That means the Most High. That means Yahweh. The power of Yahweh shall overshadow you. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. You dumb Negroes. I'm done. It's not the son of Joseph. He's the son of David. He's the son of the line of the king. You guys are missing the whole point. I'm, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't even argue with these stupid asses anymore because it's just... It's just blasphemy. And I try to be nice and get them to um, to get them to, to play ball. They take their ball and go home because they can't win. They have no game. And I'm so sick of it. But anyway, so now we're in. Um, I'm going to get back to the original teaching because I only have so much time to rebuke these dumb asses that won't listen. And I hate to be an arrogant um, Bible dick. But that's who I am. I'm about ready to change my channel to from Word of Truth with J.D. Nigel to Word of Truth with the Bible dick. Because I don't care what you think of me. Ministers and stewards. Verse 4 of 1 Corinthians. We're just going through Corinthians because the Lord told me to. Because there's something here for me and there's something here for you. If you can hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. <clears throat> Chapter 4, verse 1. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Boom, bang, bam, boom, whack, bop. Let a man so account of us 
as of the ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Okay, account. Let's do this word by word, people. Consider us. Let a man so consider us. Can you consider that I might know more than you? Can you consider that the Lord gave me something he didn't give you? No, because you're envious, revengeful, um, um, self-willed, stiff-necked, worldly parasite. As of the ministers of Christ. Who are the ministers? Let's see. Those are the servants. Those are us that are, are doing these messages every day, baby. Not not one day here, one day there. Every day, baby. That's what a servant is. The servant doesn't get to just um, decide he's not going to bring the breakfast the next morning. The servant makes sure that the breakfast is there every morning. Step by step, pampers and infamil people. The, and, and stewards of the mysteries of God. What are the mysteries? Hidden truths. Hidden truths, knuckleheads. Okay, I'm going to stop being rude because these these corner boys get me upset. Um, please understand what I'm what's the words that are coming out of my mouth. The Lord had me go through this because He's saying I need you to, um. Project your authority now. No one's listening. I want you. I I need to get you to put it down on on paper, on record of your pedigree. You need to say it. You need to tell them, and you need to get it down, and then we'll move on from there. So this is what I'm doing. I'm telling you, I am for real. <sighs> Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Hello. Every day. J.D. Nija, word of truth. Yikes. Yikes. Let me see how much time I got. 17. Holy cow. Verse 3 of chapter 4, 1 Corinthians. Here we go. But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged of you. Or of man's judgment. Yea, I judge not my own self. Just like I said. I just said it. And that's how you know I'm not bullshitting you. Because I'm telling you what the Lord said. And he's going. <laughs> he said it right there. Do you, you think you can judge me? Good luck with all that. Good luck. For I know nothing by myself. Yet I am not hereby justified. But he that judgeth me is the Lord. Who am I answering to? I'm not answering to you. I'm not answering to GMS. I'm not answering to anyone here. I have one boss. Thank God. Thank you, Yahweh. The water, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. The water. I have one boss here. And he's he let me know that. In the last year, he said, No one no one's telling you anything, JD Naja, except me. You don't listen to anyone but me. And if you could hear the words that are coming out of my mouth, you would you would um, know that you don't have that. And you know that I am your connection to the Most High through Yahweh Shai. But no. Anyway, therefore, judge nothing before the time until the Lord come, who will both bring to light the hidden things of darkness. That's the stuff you don't know that I do. And will make manifest the counsels of the hell. Of the hearts, and then shall every man have praise of God. Do you think I'm going to fail? Do you think I'm going to fail? Never been known to fail. Never been known to fail. Hello? <sighs> Let's see what it says. Hidden things of the darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts. Let's see what it says. Pampers and infamil people. I will reveal the things and I will reveal the motives. You know, when it says motives, um, counsels of the heart, I will, I will reveal 
the counsels of the heart. What do you think my motive is here? To get rich? Yeah, with 40 subscribers. To get popular? With a bunch of heathens and a bunch of um, Gentiles and a bunch of whacked out Negroes? I'm already, I, I'm, I'm already as popular as you can get. I'm known in, I'm known in the heavens. I, I don't, I don't go for popularity here on this planet. This isn't my rest. This is where I come to do some work for my Lord. I'm a servant. Get it through your thick scalp skulls. Hear what's coming out of my mouth. And these things, brethren, these things, people, these things, people, I have in a figure transferred to myself and to Apollos for your sakes. This is for you. Hello. For your sakes. This is for your sakes. Not mine. I'm already, I already got my spot. Lord already told me I, I got a spot for you. If it wasn't true, I would have told you that ye might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, that no one of you be puffed up for one against another. And see, that's what these GMS boys are doing. They're trying to, what I'm starting to realize is they're trying to draw out the real people. And um, they, they, they know where I'm at. I don't care. Come get me, man. Put me to death. The sooner, the better. I've already done my 600 videos. I'm I'm only here because the Lord is keeping me here. I can't stand it here. The closer I get to home, the more despicable this place gets. So these um uh don't be all puffed up because we don't want to be that way. And I'm not puffed up. I'm just telling you the truth coming out of my mouth. For who maketh thee to differ from another? And what hast thou that thou did not receive? Now, if you did did receive it, why do you glory as if thou hast not received it? That's where I'm going off. That's where I'm going wrong. I'm, I'm fighting with... I'm, fi I'm fighting with little goofballs and I'm I'm fi I'm fighting to convince someone that um of something I already have why why would I have to convince you I don't but he's saying I want you to put it down on record that you are who you are and I'm going to I'm witnessing you saying it so if you can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth <clears throat> Who, for who maketh you to differ from another? Let's see what it says. What distinguishes you from another? You know what distinguishes me from another is what the Lord, the gift the Lord gave me. That's it. It was a gift. Verse eight. Now you are full. Now you are rich. You have re you have reigned as kings without us. And I would to God, Yahweh power, ye did reign, that you also might reign with you. What, what is he saying? I sit in the court of kings. Do you want to do you want to reign with kings, or do you want to um, be running around with these these slaves? <sighs> these corner boys are funny. They think they think just because they're Judah, they, they're going to just instantly pop to the front of the line because they're claiming their Judah, Judah, Judaism. They're whacked. They're the ones that are out on the corner trying to proclaim themselves. They're the ones that are bunching up like a bunch of beans in a burrito, like a gang. They're trying to convince you of something that's not true. That's why they need that many. They need that um, that crew. I'm a I'm a I'm a. <laughs> Yahushai had twelve dudes that walked with him, and that was it. 
and they weren't even on his level. Isaiah by himself, Amos by himself. That's the part that that's so obvious. It's like, are you people? Um, what what part of critical thinking um, broke your brain on the left side? If you know anything about the Bible, you would go, "How's the Bible set up? How's it? How do people fit into the Bible? What are pe- who are the prophets? They're sole players, sole proprietors." <laughs> Fools, fools for Christ's sake. Am I a fool? Am I a fool to be doing a whole hour worth of Bible teaching every day and no one's listening to the words that come out of my mouth? A bunch of pampers and infamil people that might might listen once in a while and then they just move on. They're, they're like, this guy's too rough. I'm not rough enough. Verse 9, fools for, for Yahushua's sake, Hamashiach, our Savior, our Deliverer, our Messiah, the Anointed. For I think that Yahweh power has set forth us the apostles last, as it were anointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. I saw a chariot this morning. These chariots are tripping, these angels are tripping on me. They're like, who is this dude? Why why do we keep getting the mission to go watch out over him? I don't get it. He keeps doing these messages and no one's listening. They are I am a spectacle. What's it say? A spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. What's a spectacle? A true blue spectacle, the miracle is you. Um, it's something to be marveled at, but no, um, verse 10, we are fools for Yahweh sake, Hamashiach, but we are wise in the anointed. We are weak, but we are strong. You are honorable, but we are despised. I'm hated, just like Yahweh is hated, just like Jeremiah was hated. If you knew the Bible, you would know that the true prophet is going to be the guy that's getting fucking ignored. Just trying to teach you the Bible, people. Let me see what I got. I'll be back. I'll try and calm myself down.